Hello gamers and welcome to another VOD review. Today we're going to be looking at a bronze one breach player here and as you can see it's going to be on the map icebox. Um, how <laughs> breach isn't commonly played too often on icebox especially if you're in the NA region I think he was I think vision strikers played breach um, a few months ago but they've opted to switch him out for sky. Uh, just because I think it's there for more info, but I I don't know I don't know what they're thinking when they do. I can only assume and guess. Educated educated guesses, right? But anyways, let's let's get on to this, and we're gonna be watching breach. So like the thing about breach is you know you have to have you know know how to flash, right? You don't want to blend your teammates. You want to you know use your your fault line to stop oppers because oppers are gonna be you know peeking some of these angles a lot, and you know you know breach is supposed to be the counter to ops in uh, in a way. So let's kind of see how this goes. Let's watch your positioning, watch your, your coordination, your game sense, all those fundamentals of the game. Uh, and if you are watching this, make sure you take some notes, right? And also write down any questions you might have about anything I'm talking about. That way, if I don't explain it well enough for you, you guys can always message me on Discord, Twitter, Reddit, um, you know, go on my Twitch channel. You can message me there when I'm streaming, yada, 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 all right? Maho, they got a breach as well. Their lineup is okay. Your lineup is good as well, right? It's like both good good lineups. Stage uh, is probably preferred because then you can go B pretty pretty easily. But I like Killjoy on Ascent because you can lock down a lot of B and uh, Kitchen and under tube with the turret and the alarm bot. Kind of fast forward through this. All right, mistake number one right here, right? Is you're never gonna see anyone in high elo go for a ghost, right? Uh, the only time you really see them go for anything is armor and two flashes because breach's flashes are so long, right? There's three seconds, right, or two and a half seconds, one one of the two, right? They're they're really long flashes compared to everyone else. So you're literally, if you have two flashes, you can blind someone for five to six seconds, and that that is just stupid. That's five to six seconds where they don't know where you're at, and they gotta hope and pray that they kill you, okay? And aftershock, I mean aftershock is cool, right? But like I said, we go for the armor, like or like the other thing I see people buy sometimes that I would also buy when I play breach is I go full flashes, uh, and no armor, and then an aftershock. Um, just again because that the flashes on breach are just so strong and good. It, it's it's in, always in your your best interest to get the flashes as many flashes as you can whenever you can. Um. So, you go with a Frenzy. If you're going to be playing a little bit close quarters, Frenzy is definitely the wave. If you're going to be playing a little more long range, medium long range, then definitely the Ghost. But you're opting for Frenzy here. And, like, we can already look at crosshair placement, right? Like, what is crosshair placement? It's usually, like, where you want to optimally put your crosshair at. Right, and like look, look how low your crosshair is. Someone like obviously they're not going to be here yet because the round just started. But even still, we always want to constantly practice and have good crosshair placement. So right here, you're aiming at like the toe, like the knees, right? You always want to be aiming where the head's going to be at, or the general area where the the head's going to be at, because you don't want to flick up, right? Um, that and like hopefully like if you react, like if you have your crosshair and good crosshair placement, head level, right? As soon as you see him, you can instantly react, and the few like. The shorter the distance you have to move your crosshair to reach the head, um, the less chance you are to, to messing up that flick, right? Which is why I usually keep it at headshot level because we want to, if like for some instance, maybe we're like a minute, uh, centimeter or, you know, they over wide swing, we don't have to move as far. Like if they were to like peek right here, like wide swing this way and your reaction time's kind of slow, like this diagonal right distance is shorter than the straight line distance that I'm doing. Okay. So again, crosshair placement. To winning some some of these uh engagements um and again like you're like how far you're keeping it off this corner i don't know if i would keep it this far i i might like do a little bit closer uh, just and again this is all based on your reaction time if your reaction time isn't that high if it's low maybe put a little bit further if it's like pretty quick you want to keep it closer if this is like this might be all right but again A one kill, get traded out. Uh, it was a good flash, right? It's just, you know, when you flash out, the second guy on top of belt wasn't blind because he was coming around and he was able to trade you out. So, again, it was still a good play by you. Uh, I still liked it.
But um, it just sucked that you didn't get the other guy. So let's kind of fast forward to this. You're alive because we don't care about anyone else. Oh, you guys won that? That is crazy. Um, so you're opting to buy full util. That's a really good sign. Um, then you have a ghost and full armor. This is great, right? A good portion of the time, like, so, like, a lot of mistakes I see here. The only person that can get away with this is Reyna, but, like, this Killjoy should be opting to buy full armor whenever possible. Um, the last thing you want to do is die to a shit gun because you don't have enough shield, right? So, buying full armor, always going to be in your best interest, except for maybe Reyna, because hopefully she can get a quick pill, quick kill, right? And she doesn't really need a lot of util. She doesn't have to spend a lot of money on util. Um, so she can buy this Phantom here. But let's kind of see how you play this. Oh, see, look, you're making mistake number one. This is not worth it. A better gun, especially on antique around, a better gun doesn't always equate to having more shield tier. You could have that ghost and have full armor and it still might be technically better than this. You're more than likely going to get accidented with light shields than you are with full shields. Especially at this level where people are like, look again, look how low you're, you're aiming. You heard a string to your left, but now you're looking up. You're not worried about belt at all, right? Like you're not worried about someone peeking here. You heard the omen TP. That was your omen TP though. So like if you're looking at the minimap, I wouldn't be looking at the minimap, but you can tell by where the uh, omen went. Walking here when you don't need to walk, your omen's pushed up further than you. If you're looking at the minimap or if you see him over here on the left side of your screen, so you should be running here, right? Obviously there could be a guy like in the smoke um, that we have to worry about, but it looks like that was your omen smoke on top. Yep. So. Planning. I would be using my aftershock here, right? Because more than likely they're going to be planning right here along this green box. Obviously, there's a wall here, so you can't spam through it. But your aftershock will go through it and can get them off the bomb. Spike planted. I would have done that just in case they were planning right there. Um, there's no real reason for us to be walking in this situation. Our teammates are getting contact. They already have the bomb down. We just have to make sure there's no one close sight. And then once we clear out close sight behind this wall, then we can isolate the, the, the multiple variables they can be at. Like we see the breach on the minimap right here in this corner, a very common corner, although it's not very good when they have no guns. Um, it's still a corner we have to clear uh, behind yellow and then be long, right? And then we have to always be worried about someone flanking through. That was... Talk about this. Like, so you come around here, right? Boom. You know this guy's here, right? We see this guy's here. All right, and you're, just, you're really like, if this wall was the other person, dude, 10 out of 10, he's dead, right? But the wall isn't a person. So we have to change, like we, we have to have, like we have to have that kind of like, that mental thinking, like, okay, he's behind the wall. What can I do to get him out? Or what can I do to kill him? Obviously spraying the wall, like you gotta, you gotta recognize this, right? Your recognition of this like wall here needs to be quicker. Um, he, he, he runs out like an idiot. Um, but you're still crouched down trying to spray them. And when you crouch down, you just make yourself an easier target, uh, especially for worst opponents because they never aim at head level. They're like you, right? They aim lower to the ground. So the closer your head is to the ground, the easier it is gonna be for worst opponents to really kill you or at least do a lot of damage. Look how much damage he did to you, right? Like he does 150 damage to you. Again, that spray control, kind of iffy, but you were just spamming at the wall and then you kind of stop. Your recoil might have not reset in time. Sure. Break the dart, right? Well, I don't like, you're scared of a dart, right? A, a thing I see a lot in low elo as well is them being scared of breaking util. Like break this dart instantly, right? Like who cares if it like if you shoot it, you're gonna reveal your location by shooting it. Like that's not like how it works. Like if you leave that dart up, they know that this all these angles, like you're not peeking it because you guys are all hiding from it, right? But as soon as you break that dart, and they know you're all here anyways, um, but like they can't peek out these angles and they can't reposition themselves, right? Because again, if this dart's here, they know okay, this guy's not peeking snowman from this angle, he can't peek from this angle right here. That means if this guy was yellow and he was trying to get that back to be long. He knows he's fine because no one's peeking because this dart provides that much information. And again, like it just killed, it literally just killed four seconds, right? It, that dart, that single dart, right? Because no one shot it, everyone was hiding from it because they're all bad because this is bronze, right? Um, it just killed four seconds off the bomb defuse.
Remember, you can always, uh, okay, so for Icebox, it's, re it's really, really weird. Um, sometimes the flashes aren't going to show up exactly where they're going to go uh, because of these metal boxes. I don't know how it, I don't know how these work, but sometimes the metal boxes just like shift your flash sometimes. Uh, so keep that in mind. But um, we're taking way too long here. Notice how like you haven't gained any ground, right? Like, let's go back to the beginning, right? All right, we started here, okay? And then... Was it 447? 47, all the way to 27. We're still chilling here. This is 20 seconds, right? At least 20 seconds where we haven't done, you haven't accomplished anything. These two guys are still back here. You're still right here, right? The guys can still be yellow. They can still be B long. And then time is ticking on the bomb. So obviously you're low, right? Like that sucks. So either you got to tell your teammates, like, I don't know if you said this, right? Because I don't hear any audio. Um, hey, I'm low. I'm not going for this. I'm saving, right? Or hey, I'm low, guys. I need you guys to go in because I can't do anything. I'll get on bomb, right? You have to break this wall. Like this is another thing, right? Low elo players, they never break the wall. Like it's like you should be breaking this wall because again, if you break the wall, that's another angle they have to worry about. If this wall's up, they know you guys are all forced to go back site, right? Then they can just all everyone can just focus back site, right? But if you break this wall, that's like oh, okay, he can come here and maybe like get on the bomb or he can peek us from this angle, right? Obviously, these bronze, these silver. Um, these gold players, they aren't going to think about that, but this is something you need to start thinking about because I've told you this, and this is how you beat these bronze, these silver, these gold players, right? These iron. Obviously, we were at 47. We're about to be at 17 here in a second. That's about to be 30 seconds. All right, now you're at, like, it's been 30 seconds. Now you're raining. Your killjoy decided to go, and not enough time. You're, tr you're trying to, like, if you, like, dude, bro, like, it's going to be... You're wasting too much time trying to throw this flash. Like, it wasn't even a good flash here, right? Like, who? what is that flash going to blind? All right, let me see if I can see where it lines up. So right here, right? It's going to get in a straight line here. It might, This I'm not, I don't think the smoke is going to cover it, but it could get possibly here. How I would probably change this. Um, I mean, this is okay, but this is just really risky, right? With 10 HP, like, and it took you kind of like a long time to, to set this up. I would try throwing it from this this wall over here to go through straight ahead because again it took you a second to kind of line this up or right if i if time is of the essence i'm literally just flashing yellow right i'm flashing yellow and taking the fight on these guys over here because obviously the yellow guys are going to be blind but these guys won't be this one could get potentially um if a guy's peeking but if he's behind yellow right playing anti-flash then this, obviously this flash isn't going to get him um yeah, this round this round's basically over. Like in your head, you should be thinking, "Oh, how much time has passed since the bomb was planted? Oh shit, there's not enough. I think I should just get out of here, save my utility for next round, and my gun, hopefully. <clears throat> that way, I can try to do something with it. Um, but I think you, I think you can die, right? Flash, boom. You got a whole bunch of guys that are coming on. You blinded two guys, right? So it wasn't bad. But like this guy did one fifteen to you, um, with a ghost. <laughs> So again, our aim just needs to be better. Decision making needs to be better. Awareness needs to be better, right? <clears throat> and that's all I can tell from like this round. Now we're gonna have a ship by. Um, everyone should be saving here, right? Our goal is to be able to buy next round. We just lost an anti eco, right? We were supposed to be, we were supposed to beat them technically last round, but we lost it. So what I need you to do would be to full save here, or at least keep a little bit of money for next round, right? So like right here, let's look at this buy, right? You buy full shields, that's cool. And next round, the minimum you're gonna get next round. So if you were to lose this round, right, you're gonna get 3,900. If you win this round, you'll obviously get more. But if you lose this round, and you're more than likely gonna lose this round because you can't get rifles, you're gonna have 39. So what I would do here is instead of buying the heavy shields, I might go for a light shields and maybe like a pistol, right? Or I would go for the sheriff. Um, just so I can maintain some money. Um, you have full util, and I would keep that in mind too. Like, okay, I have full util. If I'm going to buy full shields and, and like not buy anything else, then I don't want to waste any of my util unless I feel like we're going to win, right? Because if you're not going to win and you waste your util and you only have 3,900 next round, you would have to buy light armor and a rifle and then buy your util. <clears throat> so that is the biggest thing, right? Like, this is how you manage your economy in order to have the most optimal buys you can get. And you also want to be able to make sure you can buy with your teammate, right? Because you're not going to win rounds if two or three of you guys are buying rifles and two or three of you are saving, right? It doesn't work like that. No one, like, it's it's really hard for someone to win that in the bracket they're supposed to be in. Now, if you are a smurf, 
right? Let's say you're a Radiant player smurfing in bronze, like you could do that very easily. It's very, very simple for me to go down to bronze and just win with just like a sheriff, right? Like I could get one, two, three, four guys because I know, I know how to play better than, you know, your opponents. So like it, it's very simple for me to outplay or outaim these guys, right? So, but for you, this is, this is your own skill bracket. It's, it's going to be tough, right? It's going to be tough for you to pull off these wins with just a pistol or no utility, right? So we obviously want to make sure we can buy all of that in the next, the next following around. Um, let's see if you keep that on. Let's see if you know that, right? And I don't think you do because you buy pistol armor. Got the shit alarm bot. Bunch of guys B. Well, whenever a character says like a bunch or a lot towards one side, that usually means there's two or more. Um, if there's only one person, they'll say an enemy wherever they're at, right? But if they say a bunch, it's usually two plus, right? So keep that in mind on like when you think you should rotate. Um, you've heard nothing A, right? Uh, I would assume if there's no one here, right? Usually in lower elo, they like to group up together and they'll stay as five or four with one guy lurking. So you have to be careful for the guy that could be lurking here. Um, I don't know who would be lurking here. Spike down B. Spike goes down B. And again, look at this crosshair placement. I, I just want to reemphasize that because it's very, very important. Brown. You want to be walking here, right? The reason why we want to be walking here is because we don't know if there's someone hiding behind here or behind this wooden box or up here or in this cubby right here. We have no clue where this third guy is at. We see two guys on the mini map, right? Thankfully, we see two guys on the mini map. Like, if we saw no one on the mini map, we should be scared that there could be guys hiding around one of these, waiting for one for us to make a mistake. And the mistake here would be you running around making noise and giving away your position. Um, so you're running in, right? Again, like what, like, like, think about it like this way, right? Like, what if you were just to walk the entire time, right? Uh, like, don't rush yourself. Like, walk up, walk up, get one of this gun, get this gun right here, right? Like, if they're not paying attention to you, like, that's even better, right? Like, again, walk up. If they see you, all right, fall back. That's fine. Like, if you're walking up and they spot you, just fall back, and then you have three flashes you can play, or two more flashes, right, that you can play off of. And instead of flat, like, running and flashing them, like, we don't know if they're gonna get hit by this blind or not, right? Because again, we saw them up here. Right, we saw them right here. This this flash right here won't get them if they're not peeking you. Thankfully, it got their breach, right? But if he wasn't here, I also got the guy over here in this corner, right? It got boom that guy. But again, like you're making all this unnecessary noise and giving away your position, right? Like if I heard a guy like again as a radiant player, I would love nothing more uh, than for someone to come running at me throwing util without them knowing where like where I'm at, right? Like it's just it just helped me set up to discounter that player, and so I'm telling you this from a radiant perspective because I want you eventually to be a radiant player, and I'm just letting you know how a radiant player would think. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how you messed up right here. And again, this was a very winnable round. Oh, and you guys did win it, thankfully. Haha, <laughs> bronze players, by the way. <sighs> like you're working on your flicking. Yeah, we hear we hear one or two guys, right? We've played this position before. We have to be wary of playing it again. And of clearing up. Um, I want to say we heard a guy over here. Oh no, they're both yellow. So you should, like when you're running here, right? So like, bomb spotted down or bomb's been down, right? And as we're rotating over. Right. Spike um, down. We should be looking at our mini map, right? Mini map awareness is one of the important key um, skills you're going to need as an ever growing player. Because once we look at the mini map, we can, and also you want to be able to see the entire map with your mini map too. Like only seeing a portion of the map, even though it becomes bigger, it's kind of useless. Um, we want to be able to see the entire mini map. We want to see the, or we want the the mini map to show the entire map um, because it's very important. And I'm going to tell you why. Because so while you're running, right? Um, based off where everyone's positions at, you should know what is covered and what isn't covered, 
right? So while we're running here, I'm looking, I would be looking at my mini map, right? Okay, Killjoy has mid, right? Obviously they can walk in the tube, but my omen is tube. So if they were to come up, or sorry, in kitchen hallway area, so if they were coming to the tube, they would see him first, right? So what I would do is, okay, I see these two points are covered. I would take the safest route to uh, go towards B. I would go, okay, up the stairs, hop down, or go under whatever, and go snowman, and then wrap around this way. By the time I wrap around this way, depending on where everyone's positioning is at, will dictate kind of where I want to be looking, okay? So, all right. Oh, I'm still looking at my minimap here because, again, I have to play off of where everyone's positioned at. Um, this guy's still hallway, so, if there again, if there was a guy, if we didn't see these guys here and this guy, like, boom, he would probably see our omen first. Um, but looking at the minimap still, oh, last two were spotted yellow, okay? So that means I can go kitchen, fall back down here, right, and come up orange to, to site. I could still go snowman, right, and take this positioning here. I know the bomb is right here, right, because that's where our, our uh, arena knocked it down. Okay, so another thing I can do is go kitchen the tube, go back down and cut off the mid rotation, right, and it kind of spot. I don't want to fight, right? I don't want to fight for them if they cross this way. I just want to spot to see if they do or listen for the omen to TP across, right? Because the worst thing you can do is if they're going to rotate back to A and you're fighting them is die, and then give them a two on two fight, right? We wanna play our numbers as advantage here. So we want to make sure that um, wherever they go, we group up and we trade each other out. So whoever goes in first, if they die without getting a kill, the second guy can kill him. And if that second guy on their team kills our second guy, then our third guy, right, trades that guy out and we win the round, right? Obviously we would want everyone to survive, but if that doesn't happen, we gotta be able to play the trade out game. So let's see what you decide to do here. You're running snowman. Boom, gun out. Excellent. This guy was yellow. Your omen peaked. I wouldn't, like, why would you flash here? Right? Like, I mean, I get why you would flash here, right? To kind of peek the, if this guy's holding the angle. But this, they don't know where you're at, right? You have to play the information game. Like, do they, have you given your way your position in any way? You have not. I would take the risk here and peek out and see if I can catch one trying to, like, run in the site or something. And then when you peek out and you see them looking at you, then I would flash, right? But if you flash here, then it's like, Oh shit, okay. The Breach of Snowman already. Right, where can he throw flashes at? Let's kind of play around off that, right? Fuck you off, you throw a flash here. Okay, this again, still gives away your position. Oh, he flashed off this wall. He's probably like here or here. I, I didn't see him when I smoked right here, right? Like when I peeked and killed their omen. So he has to be Snowman, right? So now the only thing, the only information that the other team is lacking is where's this Killjoy at, right? Um. Blinding. You guys aren't at a high enough level to kind of piece this information together, but I'm trying to explain like how I got to this conclusion, right? And so maybe hopefully you can pick up on this and be able to like, again, use, use the information. Like information is a very crucial part and information processing is a very crucial part of this game too. Um, you waste your aftershock there. Uh, there's no reason to kind of toss it. You haven't heard the bomb getting planted at all. Like, and they smoked so they can easily cross back to be long now that you've given away your position. And they can run to A. You make you're making a lot of noise, right? Like if there's a guy hiding in the smoke, right? And like let's say the omen's in the smoke, he flashes through, he near side to you, he pushes out because he's he, he hears you running around back and forth, right? That guy gave away his position, he's like on the other side of this wall, right? Or yellow. One yellow. One Boom, this guy plants, you spam him down because he plants right there no i think it was on the other side of the wall flash, out. flash him off that's good i like that flash again you're just running like you're making so much noise right so why why are you why is you running around a bad thing okay let me tell you why because once like if i was the omen in the omen situation right and i was going against you the way I would win this round, and most of the other time, a lot of the ways people are going to clutch these rounds is by taking one-on-one -on -one fights, right? Um, so, like, as the omen, I would, like, want to isolate you or isolate the killjoy and make sure I can kill you guys without you guys being able to trade each other. And you're doing, like, the perfect job for this omen to set him up for success. So there's two things you did wrong here that I'm going to tell you so far. One is you strayed away from your killjoy, okay? That's your first mistake. Your second mistake is making all this noise, giving away exactly where you are at, right? So if I was the omen, I'm like, oh shit, their breach is running around in sight, making all this noise. I know the killjoy, she was just shooting at me from Snowman. Let me see if I can peek her at Snowman and try to kill her, right? Then I know the breach is on sight, and then I can start playing around the sight angles, 
right? But how could this be changed? How can this be different, right? So let's say you'd separate it with a killjoy. That's still, it's, it's, it's bad, but it's not the end of the world. If you're walking around though, then he has no clue where you're at because you flashed him off, right? You flashed him off and you're walking in the site. Even if your killjoy dies, he's like, okay, this guy was last seen snowman, right? Then he has to make a guess. Are you still snowman or did you walk to sight, right? That's, those are like the most logical conclusions he can make based off what happened, based off of timing, right? Um, so that's exactly how you should be playing this. But again, like I said, you made two fatal mistakes here. One is separating from your killjoy, right? But the, the, the real nail in the coffin here for him to win this is you making and running around noise. But again, this is a bronze player. He might not pick up on these things like I would because maybe he doesn't know about picking up on these things. Or maybe he does pick up on it, but he doesn't know how to play off of it, you know? So let's kind of see how this goes. Yeah, look how lost he is. I don't, I don't know why you're running. Why are you running a what, to reload? There's no way you just ran. You have 24 bullets in, in your clip still, and you still have the protection of green, green box right here, green double stack to reload. So uh, there's no way. 30 seconds left. Dude, I've, I'm lost. Like I have no clue why you're doing this. Like just, you should know the bombs right here. You killed the guy planting the bomb. He wasn't in the tube, so he obviously has to be right here. And then you saw Omen by yellow. There's no reason, like, there's no reason. And your, your killjoy was holding the cross. So there's like, again, there's no reason for you to run all the way back here. Like, again, I, I'm very confused on why you did that. Like, you're being very, very inefficient in, like, maintaining control. Like, the, the way this guy gets the, like, if this guy can literally creep up now and get the bomb because someone's no peeking, look at what your killjoy is holding. Again, I'm looking, I would periodically check in the minimap. Boom, I'd be like, okay, I'm looking here. I peek out, I don't see him. I get behind cover, kind of look at my minimap again, see what everyone's holding. Oh, my killjoy's holding this. That means that he could have crept up left side, my R left of yellow, crept up, walked up along here, gotten the bomb, right? Now, off of just because you keep running around like a chicken with his head cut off, right? Um, he could easily creep around sight and come and flank you, right? Obviously, he's still yellow though because he's just dumb. But um, again, like, you're doing a lot, a lot of mistakes here, right? And I'm hoping you understand my explanations on like why these are really, really bad. All right, you don't hear anything here. You're almost pushing in a, a lot, a lot spot. Again, if you hear nothing on your side of the map, like again, use that to periodically check to see what your teammates are seeing. And like, as soon like I, in my peripheral vision, don't focus too much on your crosshair, right? You shouldn't be having tunnel vision, right? You should be able to see the entire, like most, like most of this, right? You should be able to see this in your peripheral vision, open up those peris. Um, and then you would see on the mini map, oh shit, there's four, four red fucking dots on the mini map right now, right? So that should tell you, okay, where's the fifth guy at? Fifth guy could be towards A, right? We don't know. He could still be towards B, could be towards mid. But we at least know there's four there. This is like your cue to start shifting over. Again, you should have paid attention. Your omens already pushed through. There's no reason for you to be here. He could get timing by a guy coming back from A, but we'll take that risk. Diamond through smokes. Now they know you're here, right? Because you did that aftershock. Enemy in attacker spawn. The attacker spawn could be rotating back to A, right? Again, you're looking at the ground. Placing you're flat. You're bringing out your flash out in the open here, right? Like so again. Let's look at this real quick. Boom. Clear that. Open your flash. Okay, what if someone swung from over here from B long while you're throwing out your flash, right? At least do it a little bit further back, right? The flash, like flash from safety. The last thing you want is like you trying to like th line up this flash and some guy comes and peeks you. Flash it. They should, the flash should be ended. You don't see anything. Off your feet! We can't see it on the mini map, so this ulti is towards A. Again, if you could see the entire map. Um, you would see the lineup on where that bridge ulti is coming at. Thirty seconds 
seconds left. Come on, let's go! Enemy spotted A. Someone's A. I would, I would be walking here. Look how big the ring is, right? This ring indicates how, like, the length to where someone can hear your footsteps. If they're within this ring, they can hear your footsteps, right? And you're really, really close to sight now. I would have been walking back here, um, but walking right here is fine too. Um, but you're just running, right? You're making all this noise. Like, do you have a shift key? You do know there's a there's a walk key, right? Bro, take your time. They are stunned, right? And they're brawn, so they have worse aim than you can imagine. Okay, so like here, like ulti, right? Boom. We want to aim for the head. All right, you like you weren't even aiming at this guy, but you killed him, right? And then it comes to this guy. Like, look at, look at where the bolts are. Bolts are all coming up here, right? So either you got to pull down or just stop shooting for a second and then take a couple pop shots at his face, right? Thankfully, you got him, right? But, like, imagine if you would have killed those two guys instantly, right, and been aware, okay, I stunned right side. That means there could be guys left that I did not stun, right? It could have uh, changed the way the round plays out, right? Because you had a really good ulti, um, and you were able to kill that Reina pretty quickly. If you killed the breach quickly and then you look to the left, right, because someone else is peeking you, then maybe you kill the sage, right? Then it's a 2 1 2. Killjoy comes in. Maybe she kills someone, right? There's a whole world of possibilities that could have happened here if we play as effective and as efficient as possible. Um, let me look at your money. So many questions. Uh, uh, again. You don't manage your economy properly is everyone buying here or is no one buying like let's look at everyone like one this guy can buy this guy can kind of buy but has no util you could buy and get light shields which is fine right um but yeah I, this would be like the perfect round hey guys let's save a little bit let's save for next round so we can all buy rifles next round right it's like the call that needs to be made here Go towards A. Uh, your crosshair usually wants to be on them before you start pulling the trigger. Yeah. Alright, so every time you shoot, right, every time you're seen, your position is basically given away. Okay. A uh, very good general rule of thumb is every time your position is given up, always reposition to find a new spot, right? Once you get to a high enough level, like high immortal or radiant, right? Sometimes you can use that kind of that tactic against other people, right? Because they expect you to move, right? Once you give away your position, but you don't have to worry about this yet. Um, but you should be moving. Every time you give away your position, always move out of it. Um, just because like low elo players are like robots, right? Breach was last seen here. I have to clear here, right? Like that's, that's how they think. Okay? And they're going to do it majority of the time. So what you can do is get a pick like close pipes, right? Fall back to a different spot, get another pick there, and then reposition again. That's and the, you're literally gonna catch people off when they try to clear you at spots they think you're at, right? So again, that's like that's how you want to be approaching this. I would use fault line instead of aftershock. Aftershock doesn't go that far. Um, fault line will get them a little bit scared and stun them too. Again, I don't like I don't know why you're looking over here. You should be worried about someone pushing through the smoke, right, and trying to kill you. Um, you're looking again, looking at the ground. One guy's on top of like pipes or something. You instantly crouch down. You start spraying, right? Boom. Okay, so you like you recognize where this guy's at. You just start fucking this wall up. Fuck that wall up. You over flick. Boom. Okay, so this is what this tells me. Okay, so as um as your coach, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Like you need to work. On almost everything that encompasses aim where it's flicking right uh, you might need to change your sense your sense might be too high right you need to work on spray control and you need to work on trigger discipline and obviously like aiming you know on uh, just like crosshair placement right like you don't flick to these guys head you over flick right it looks like your your aims like kind of jaggedy so that tells me that your your sense might be a little bit too high for you it's not smooth 
right? It's not a smooth like flick over, right? It's like boom, 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 boom. Like you have to constantly readjust. Um, spray control, obviously, like you're like spraying at everything. You're not controlling the spray properly. Um, but yeah, like again, so these are just like your bronze. I get it. Don't worry, it's not the end of the world. These are just things that you should know know what to fix, right? And um, how you want to fix it's up to you. Usually it's aim trainers, right? And then, you know, go into the training range are your two best options. You work on the spray controls and working on building the muscle memory. I don't care about any of these guys. Placing swarm grenade. Uh, and like, let's say like if you had a rifle, dude, you know, like if you had a, like everyone has rifles here, right? Why don't you? It's because you keep wasting all your fucking money. I mean, I would do this, like, I do this sometimes, but that's because, like, when I play in, like, lower reloads, I know I can get away with the Spectre. Placing swarm grenade. Right now. I'm going to run around. Hear a lot coming towards A. Break the dart, bro. Break the dart. You don't have the habit of breaking the dart yet. You should, like, once you get blind like this, it's totally fine for you to throw counter utility. Okay. So let me tell you what counter utility is. When you start noticing that the other team is throwing util towards your site, right? Before they run in, right? Because they have to wait for that util to land. Or, or f like, they they need, like, you know, specific wait. Like, they have to wait for it, basically. All right. That's just, like, the simplest way I can, I can explain it. So while they're waiting for this util, right, to go out, like, as soon as you notice it, like a breach flash, or you notice omen smokes, or you notice a silver dart, right, or an omen flash, whatever, right, that is the perfect time to slow them down by throwing your own utility, throw, throw your own random flash, right, throw your, your fault line, throw your aftershock, right, throw whatever you can to throw off timings, right, and to delay them so you can call over rotations over, right, so more people can come here in time. So your Killjoy, which she should, I mean, she also did at a relatively good time. Um, this should slow them down quite a bit. Um, but as soon as she saw that smoke, she should have like ran to backside and then ult instead of ult. Whatever. Oh. down destroying. Damn, you fucked up that wall. This. I don't want to slow this down. Oops. I want to slow this down so I know you're looking at this, okay? See that guy? <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, man. Can't be doing this shit. On. Get me in the line of fire. You cannot be doing this. You can't be shooting the wall when you think you're shooting at the guy. Boss does it. Ah. Cover going out. The Spectre, man. Best fucking friends. I wish you knew how to save for a rifle. Maybe you'd be sick with it. You don't, you don't even worry about this left side. Come here, right? So this flash is going to go a straight line like this, right? Anything past this invisible line that you're flashing off of, because you got to remember the wall, right? The wall is basically the line. The, the wall that this ends on is the line that they're going to be exposed to the flash at, right? Boom. All this, you see this? Anything past this fucking line here, you got to you know, mentally draw it, is blind. Anything over here, all this, right? You know what's not blind? Everything to the left of that fucking, all this over here, behind this crate, right? All this, it's not blind. You run in. Don't even care for it. That is crazy. What if someone's just chilling right there, right? Like, do you think about like these are things you got to think about, right? Obviously, not it, but these are the things you, you got to think about. Your aftershock. I don't know. You keep using aftershock, and you're not using vault line. Aftershock, like it doesn't go that far, right? It's not that strong. Vault line, ten times fucking better most of the time. Aftershock is good for clearing corners. Clearing corners or stopping them from uh, planning or defusing the bomb. It, they have no clue where the fuck you're at right now. They have no clue. So again, you do these preemptive these flashes, it's going to work sometimes. But like a good portion of the time, you can probably just swing out, get a kill. Then when they're focused on you, reflash it. I mentioned this before. I just wanted to mention it again. 
other guy's yellow. I would get rid of flash off of this corner here. And if he's not peeking you, oh, you only have one flash. Bro, stop it with these fucking aftershocks. I swear to God. Last player standing. Oh, oh. Maho, Maho, please make it stop. Hit them fast, hit them hard. Turret out. Okay, so let's talk about guns, right? So we have your ops, right? Those are the sniper rifles. We have your basic rifles. We have submachine guns. We have heavy machine guns. We have pistols, okay? Each gun has an advantage in certain areas, right? And whenever you take gun battles, you always want to have some kind of advantage, whether it be a gun advantage, a positional advantage, um, sight advantage, because maybe they're blind or something, right? Like those are like the three ways, right? Uh, most part, like where, where you're going to get some sort of advantage. So to statistically have a better chance of winning that fight. Um, now, let's say you guys are on even playing ground, right? With the same guns, you know, same vision, same, like, same, like, you guys are looking at each other from, like, the same distance, right? We call those 50 50 fights, right? Where either one of you can win. It just depends on who's having a better day. But um, a concept that you need to learn is we always want to try to, like I said, we always want to take the, the fights that are in our advantage. We always want to get the advantage somehow um, when we take battles. For Breach, you're usually going to use flashes, right, to blind them to get that advantage, pick them when they can't see, or use their fault line to make them stun, or aftershock to get them out of spot, to force them out of a spot, right? Those are the ways that Breach can use his utility to get some sort of advantage on the other team, right? Now let's talk about the guns. The gun you're using right now is a submachine gun, right? Where does the submachine gun excel at? It's usually going to be in the close to semi-medium range. So if you're not in the close to semi-medium range, you're not using your gun to your advantage using the Spectre. You're using it right now, the Spectre, I would consider this long range. This is definitely long range. You're, you're taking a very long fight. Your Spectre ain't going to do jack shit, right? So where, where I would be if I were you, I was hop down and get behind this blue container like we did before and kind of like jiggle out or hold the angle if you really want to, right? And try to hook like that. That's like a medium, the closest range that you could definitely have a good chance of winning. A, a hell of a lot better chance of winning than you playing back here. So again, that's just another concept I wanted to explain to you. That way, hopefully, you know now from now on, it can kind of use positional and gun advantage to your own advantage. Hold B, they're planning. You have ulti. Bro, what do you have to stop them from playing the bomb? You have two things right now. You have your aftershock. Easily aftershock through the fucking ground, right? Ping it if you have to on your map. And then you have your ulti, right? Ulti gets them off the bomb. Like, your teammate, like, I don't know why you're about to aftershock that. Your teammate was right here. Like, obviously they're not there. And it looks like I see the cogs turning. You're like, what should I be doing in this situation? There's actually lots of things you can be doing, right? Coordinating with your team. Hey, I'm going to ulti from back, back right here. I'm going to ulti from right here. Right, and I'm gonna hit yellow. Okay, when I ulti that, you guys run in. Be careful of long B. Right, maybe or maybe you flash through or something. Or like, like or you'd be like, hey guys, I'm gonna keep throwing flashes towards yellow. You guys can push up, right? Push up on them and try to kill them. You know, like these are like like those are like two things you can really easily do. Another thing is you just run at them and just go fucking shoot them. Right, but right now like you're like you're looking. Oh, I can't go left. <laughs> There's a wall here. I can't go this way. And then you're like, oh, I gotta go this way. And you're like, oh. It's like, there's people looking here. Right? Oh, God. There's no there's no way you're using this ulti for one guy. And it, Bro, he's stuck behind the wall. Perfect time to use Aftershock. Come on, man. This, is, this comes to decision making right here. And then you die to the guy. Right, you die to this guy who doesn't get hit by your son. Oh my god, oh 
Oh, this hurts my soul. This hurts my soul. You know, it's not even like your fault, right? Like you're, you're like new to this kind of game, right? Like this, this is a totally new ball game to you. It's just. <sighs> it's just, you know, I'm, when I say it, right? It's like, oh shit, yeah, I should have done that, right? Like it obviously clicks once I, once I mention it. But it's like, I feel like people would like know what their abilities do, and they can kind of like piece together when they. Obviously, not everyone is the same. Uh, so sad. Let me tell you. Saving here. You just win this round? 3v1? Oh no. It's bombed on you. Oh, you guys lose this. Holy shit. Nope. Oh, no. Wow. Ama amazing. You have a rifle. Dude, this is like out of like 11 rounds. This is like my first time seeing you with a rifle. I don't know what that Sage was thinking right there. Third song is by Nilo. Oh, thank God that guy's bad, right? Like, you could have died there if that guy knew how to aim, right? Like, cause, again, you're throwing these flashes out in the open. Like, if you don't know where they're at, right? You got to be careful for them just peeking you. Last round before the switch. Round on defense, baby. Hear anything? Your omen dropped down mid. Oh, you hear something. Double dart. Love to see that. Flash in. See none. Oh, you see one. Oh, you see two. You gotta you see you, know, you see when the bulls go up like that? That means you have to pull down further than what you're pulling down, All right? Wow. down it bopped here what is going on I said the other pistol around, right? Like you want armor usually. Ashes. Best friend on breach. Cross her policeman. Kind of looking on the wall. That's not even like an angle you really have to hard clear. You can literally just clear that angle most of the time with just your gun because it favors you. Ish. It favors you ish. Or like you like flash off this left corner. Like when I mean, you come around here, right? Like boom, flash here, cleared right, clear left. Uh, that's usually how it's done. Reloading. 
Carrier's dead. Spike down A. Last player standing. Long. Lost in the sauce. Let's rewind this a little bit. So, we get stunned, right? We know this, this bridge is somewhere here. Dying. Flash. Like, you're, like, trying to, like... Like, the best, like, some, sometimes just doing it off the close corner like this. Like, obviously, if you want to flash deeper, like, know how, how these angles kind of work. Right? How, where's this wall go? You're just trying to get it straight, like, a, across, like, this to mid, right? When actually, you got to do a little, like, more over here. Down right? A. Last player standing. And, like, I would wait for that smoke to be up, honestly, and then flash, like I said. Like, flash that corner and then just clear both sides. Um, obviously, you get bopped. That's unfortunate. This is gonna be a hard run to win. Ooh, that you go around. Oh, someone's chasing you. Oh. You gotta realize this guy's way too close, right? Like you, this guy's right here, right? Like you have to instantly react to this guy pushing you. Like you hear him right here. Like you should be able to hear him right here running at you, right? And then run up this, and while you're running up this, pull out your flash, right? Instead of reloading, then you're like, oh shit, he's really, really close. And then you're like, oh, I can flash him, right? But instead, like, I feel like you're thinking this, right? But it has to be like instinct. Like, oh, this guy's close. Let me pull out my flash, right? But you don't even have to think of that. Like, you just do it, right? Your body just reacts. We want to train your body to get like this. Obviously, it's, it's going to start somewhere, right? Like, you have to think about this stuff first and then, like, consciously think about it, and then eventually it becomes subconscious. You'll subconsciously start to do it without having to think about it. Because, again, timing in this game is very, very important. If you have to waste time thinking about something, there's just seconds you're killing from, like, it's just, it's just seconds you're wasting, you know? Um, so one of the things Breach is really good at is supporting teammates. So before your teammates ever peek in anywhere, right, you should always be telling, hey, I can flash in for you, right? You should always be offering to flash them in somewhere before, like, they go in and run. Because, like, the worst thing you want to do is flash them when they are already in, right? Or don't, don't even flash them at all. Careful now. Flash out. Um, oh, people are bronze. Hold on. Win that one. Very poggers. pretty good for bronze i should say the smoke is still high so you have to throw this flash a little bit lower right see like see how the smoke like you threw at this level the smoke's gonna block it you need to throw it like down here so it gets under right so if anyone's looking at here like trying to look for your toes right they get blinded by it down, they also walled this so we know sage and omen are playing b Bond. um we should keep that in mind Standing. It's like I'm watching AI robots shoot each other. This is actually insane. I wish everyone played like cover going out. Come on, let's go. Cover going out. They will cover. Flashback sight. That's a good flash. 
Your rain is planting a weird spot, though. I love the people that use the excuse, I never plant the bomb, so I don't know where to plant. Like, you've never seen people plant before. Reloading. It's like the same excuse people use when they play smokes for the first time. I I don't I don't play smokes. Like, I don't. where am I supposed to smoke at? Like, they've never seen anyone ever smoke. You're taking, like, a really bad fight for some reason. Like, again, you have a shit gun. You don't want to be taking this battle. I've already explained that, so we'll just skip that. You don't hear me lecture you anymore. Like, okay, so obviously if you're going to be playing Breach, like, go into a custom man and kind of see, like, where you need to kind of, like, aim to get some, like, flashes off. Like, oh, if you want to blind the guy that's peeking on top here, you would aim above this roof. I'll show you in a second, right? Like, if you want to scare a guy that's, like, peeking you with an op, you would flash up here, right? If you're scared of someone peeking you down low, you would flash off a nest, right? If you want to start pushing up, uh, you would flash through here, right? Like, these are things, like, you got to, like, kind of work out. Like, and if you have to go into a custom, like, it's very intuitive. If you know what you're doing, right? If you don't know what you're doing, or like like how it looks like you are, like it's gonna be kind of rough. Nice movement. Could be in the guy to the left here. That's back sight. Omen, you saw Omen back sight. Oh, you forgot about the Omen somehow, some way. Again, as Breach on attack, you're going to be like one of the best support characters in the game to help your teammates get in. Alright, now it's going to be the time to run in, right? Get that rifle, get that rifle. Yep, don't, you don't have to finish with the reload, don't worry. Oh, he ulti from heaven. Get ready to ulti back. Oh, one's flanking youth on the lower and upper. Oh. Game is hard. Alright, Soapy Bread's probably a smurf. He's 36 and 10 and he knows the one way for B. Usually no one in bronze knows that shit. So, that's a good telltale sign of someone being a smurf. To the left, to the left. There's no way he killed anyone from the right. All right, like this is something. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why you're looking to the right. <laughs> like he had to kill him right here in this cubby. And he, there's nothing stopping this stage from pushing you. By the way, so like you have to be careful that he doesn't push this left side on you. Oh God! Oh no! This was a wild ride. Okay, that's what this was. Oh. Okay. All right, Maho Maho, my friend, my buddy, my new student. Okay, I'm gonna summarize all the shit I just saw with my own eyes that I wish I never had to see ever again, but I will because I help people out. So, first thing, aim, right? Crosshair placement at head level, spray control, controlling the spray, right? Um, Make sure you know you have your crosser on them before you start pulling the trigger. All things that need to be done. Uh, your sense m might need to be decreased, right? Maybe slowly start de uh, decreasing your sense if you have a really high sense. Um, I use 0.6 cents in game on 400 DPI. That is, it's a, it could be technically on the little slow, like the slow side, the low end of the senses. So you can go a little bit higher than that. I would say that would be around average. So if you need to, lower it from where you're at, right? We don't want this choppy shit where it's like, boom, oh, you got a flick, oh, you over flicked, oh, got a flick back, oh, I still over flicked, and boom, right? We don't want to leave it up to chance to you to kill someone. It's very easy to be crisp and concise in your shots. Um, so yeah, that's like the main thing for aim. Second thing is like utility usage. Um, just be as effective as possible with your util and try not to look as lost on like what knowing what you like are going to do no hey when you're running you're making sound and sound gives away your position right like that's like the worst thing we want to do um 
game sense obviously you have to play the game more to kind of understand like how how do how do things work how how do my flashes work right how does my aftershock how's my fault line i don't think i saw you fault line at all this game this entire time so it's just something we need to work on um and yeah and like if you need a more detailed explanation like, hey how would i use these properly it's better for me to show you rather than tell you right obviously yeah, like i could tell you like oh yeah you want to flash off this corner every time blah 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 you want to flash here flash here flash here like Anyone can be told what to do, right? Sometimes it takes people to see it in action before they can kind of understand, oh, shit, that's how I'm supposed to use it, right? Oh, this is when I'm supposed to use that, right? Oh, they're running in. I can fault line here, slow them down, or scare them from pushing in, right? Then I can flash off and blah, 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 like, blah, 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 right? That's how it is. Um, but it did look like you were kind of confused and, and didn't know really what to do uh, on fence sometimes. Like, again, for it to be kind of like running around the wall, like, oh, shit, there's a wall here. I can't do it how you're supposed to approach that like oh the wall's here either i break it or i have to you know adjust my my way of retaking the site um so this is basically gonna end your vod review i i hope you I, you better have fucking questions for me okay if you don't have any fucking questions go back and fucking watch this shit again because there, there was so much fucking shit in here that like i like i know i talked a lot this is like probably one of my longest things but like goddamn man like you better have some fucking questions or i'm gonna be fucking pissed um, but anyways, thank you for coming to me for a VOD review. Uh, you, there's lots of people you can get VOD reviews from. I'm happy you got it from me, and I, I hope I helped you. If I didn't help you, just let me know, right? But if I did help you, or if you do have questions, please come to me, ASAP Rocky, okay? Thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.